हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम योर फ्रेंड चेतन भोला एंड यू आर वाचिंग भोला मोटो सो यू डिडेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल लेट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एट दिस मोमेंट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल ट्रांसमिशन सीवीटी सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मैकेनिज्म दैट आर इंक्लूडेड इनसाइड दिस सीवीटी एंड हाउ दीस मैकेनिज्म्स वर्क्स हाउ दिस सीवीटी वर्क एंड व्हाई इट इज हेल्पफुल सो कीप वाचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स अबाउट सीवीटी First of all, CVT is a continuous variable transmission that is used to replace the manual transmissions that people are used to do first gear, second gear because it is quite hectic sometimes because uh, changing the gears it requires maintenance also a high amount of maintenance is required in the manual transmissions so that's why CVT is required in that place. Most of the people forgot about how to change the gear, and uh, the main thing while riding or driving a car is uh, is learning how to shift the gears. So that's why just to replace that they use CVT. So how this CVT works? So first of all, I would like to tell you that this is the first pulley, that is the driver pulley, which is connected to the engine, engine side, and this is the driven pulley, which is driven by this pulley. and this driven pulley is connected to the wheel okay so the power is coming from the engine to this pulley and then the belt and then to the driven pulley and this driven pulley dr uh, drives the wheel so at initial stage the belt is uh, like this the belt is uh, from on the on the driver side the belt is at its minimum radius on the driven side it is on the highest radius and uh, when the rpm increases the belt this side of the belt starts moving upward the radius of this starts increasing and at final stage the radius is maximum and on the other side this radius keeps on decreasing like this okay and the final stage the radius is minimum and uh, this comes out to be like this like this so this is the final position when the radius of this belt at the driven driver pulley is highest and on the other hand the radius is lowest on the driven pulley so the main thing that is required is when the when the rpm of the engine increases the speed of the vehicle should also increase so for increasing the speed the gear ratio should decrease because the gear ratio means the reduction the reduction should decrease so the, since the reduction decreases the most of the Uh, the rpm of the engine getting transferred to the wheels so in that case when the uh, when the gear ratio decreases at higher rpms because so as to increase the velocity of the vehicle so in this case you can see the r1 is the initial radius of this uh, driver pulley on the other hand the r2 the, which is maximum is the initial position of this driven pulley so the gear ratio is r2 by r1 and the gear ratio is highest at the initial at the initial condition and when the uh, the rpm increases the r1 starts increasing when the r1 increases the r2 decreases in that case at final stage the gear ratio decreases uh, when the rpm increases the gear ratio keeps on decreasing so in the same way as that of the manual transmission uh, while riding at slower speeds you are using smaller gear uh, and while riding uh, at higher speed you are increasing the gear so in that case uh, it is quite similar that it is doing it by itself without using any gear lever or gear shifting so it is doing all of the things by uh, by moving the belt from upside down and downside up so the main thing is how this belt is shifting from lower position to the higher position and to from higher position to the lowest position so the main problem is how these belts rise and drop on this direction so uh, you can see this is the pulley this this is driver pulley which is driving the which is connected to the engine so this driving pulley is, is having a cover like this and there are several weights inside it so when the when the engine starts rotating at higher rpm it is it is imparting some force on these weights the 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 force which is called the centrifugal force the centrifugal force is imparted in this direction and when it comes in contact with this pulley in this direction it is exerting some force in this direction to the pulley okay to the normal to the to the face of the pulley now due to the component of this force in this direction it is it is going to push that part of the pulley inward so initially the case is like this the pulley is resting inside it like this 
but when the uh, but when the uh, when the uh, the the weights pushes inside it this is how this increases okay so the belt rises on the driven side so this is how the radius of the driver pulley increases on the other hand at this point you can see uh, the, uh, these are the this is the pulley this is the spring and uh, this is the cover so the cover is you can see the screws right here the cover is placed like this there is a spring inside it so what happens is when the when on when on the dri driver side when the pulley when the belt is rising it is creating a lot of tension on this belt because the length of the belt can't be increased uh, since it is limited so that's why it is creating some tension on it so initially the position of that that side uh, driv driven side is like this when the tension is created on this belt it is going to push that belt inside so when it is pushing the belt inside the belt imparts some force on the pulley on on this face of the pulley to the outward direction so in that case like this the pulley is pushed out and the radius of the driven side decreases so in this way the radius of the driver side increases and the driven side decreases and when and when the engine comes to rest or starts retarding again uh, the weight starts dropping down and hence it is uh, taking back, back its force and hence this pulley will come back due to the tension in this belt the belt will push the push that face back and on the other side due to the spring uh, the the pulley the, uh, due to the spring it will again force it back to the highest radius on the driven driven side so i hope you got to understand how this uh, mechanism works if you like this video please share this video to your friends if you learn something new please let me know if you didn't learn something new if you want me to improve myself if you want me to improve myself in any of the aspect you can please let me know in the comment section below if you didn't like this video you can hit the unlike button also but please let me know what what the what is the reason of hitting the unlike button if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe it at this moment since this channel is quite new you can follow my another channel that is bhola mac tech you can follow that channel for the previous english videos there are a lot of content that i have published on that on that channel in english you can please watch those videos also if you if you like this video please share this video to your friends so thanks for guys for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot